Why, what makes your relationship advice bang? What makes your financial advice solid? You know why I respect Dave Ramsey? is because Dave Ramsey actually is a reflection of what he preaches. One thing you could say, you may not, you could say, well, I don't necessarily like Dave Ramsey. You can't argue with his results. You can't argue with his results. Everybody acting like they getting money, but ain't nobody got no money. Where everybody money at? Where, where, where is it at? But then we got these forever fiancés. We got these niggas as hospice husbands or hospice uh, wives. We got all of these people just out here just living. Just living. And just trying to figure it out. Y'all all following each other right off the front of the cliff. And ain't nobody got no actual real results. And so now what we see is everybody that's in the congregation is full of it. It's all cat. It's smoke and mirrors. You pretending like you actually want to be married. But when you get the opportunity to do so, you skip over the person that's best for you. You're skipping over your husband. You skipping over your wife. Everybody said that they want to be married. I hear it from guys. I hear it from women. Everybody said that they want to do it. But ain't nobody actually a reflection of it. How? I spend more on my corporate place. This is my corporate apartment. I ain't even got no chairs in this bitch yet. My chairs don't even come to the end of the month. You play balling. You playing in real life. You pretending. I spend more on my corporate apartment than a lot of these people spending in a year. You pretending. That ain't really the real you. That's, that's play you. That's pretend you. You pretending like you actually doing something significant. Honestly, man, I don't know how y'all then justify the way that y'all go about doing things. Anton, you don't really spend no 10000 a month. Oh, you sure about that, buddy? Okay. We can talk about that, too. We can talk about that, too. Mm, see that? See that number right there? See that number right there? I don't have to pretend. Everything I say is real life. My life is awesome. My family is straight. Nobody around me need or want for anything, nothing. The reason why they follow me is because I'm a reflection of the thing that I, I talk about and I live. All of my receipts, all of my deposits, what I make in corporate America, what I actually make from uh, my businesses, what I make from my web development company, what I make in real estate, what I make from content creation, it's all on the Patreon. It's all in the Patreon. And see, this is the thing. See, Dropshipper will say, what's the point in flexing? Dude? See, you think it's flexing. It's flexing. This is just my life. What I'm saying is the reason why I'm qualified to do and say certain things is because I can actually back it up with real life receipts. That's not flexing for me. That's normal. You think it's flexing because you can't visualize the possibility of what if. And this is why the community is so fucked up. Instead of asking me, how do I do it? You say, why are you showing me? That's a reflection on your insecurities, on your ignorance, on your perspective of how you supposed to be successful. You supposed to be asking me, hey, how can I be successfully married? How can I get the bag? How can I do this without ever doing no fraud or, or going to jail or anything like that? Why do you feel so comfortable showing your bank accounts? Because everything is actually legal and it's actually shown on my Schedule C's and my 1040's. 
Don't you want to see the receipts from the people that you follow or you just lead, you just blindly following them? Don't you want to see the receipts from the people that you actually follow or do you just follow them blindly and just take their word for it? Because it's a lot of y'all that's being led right into the fire. I want to see the receipts. When I went and hired my trainer, I didn't hire the fat man. I want to hire the dude that actually got the results. No. Social media and these people that y'all follow is the only, only time that y'all don't have to actually justify who you are. When you go to church, when you get into relationships, and on social media. Three of the most toxic things that I see people operating in chaos. Because we all playing games. Everybody is just playing games. Ain't nobody. Let me go ahead and fix this real quick. You ain't got to. I don't even know why you subscribed. I don't even know why you, you subscribed to say that. Now we ain't got to worry about it anymore, do we? Problem solved. Because, see, we not playing no more games going forward in 2024 and beyond. From here on out, the only thing that matters is the results. From here on out, the only thing that matters is the results. We don't care about this pretend love. We don't care about what it is that you say you want. The only thing we want to see is action, boss. I don't want to see nobody acting and, and, and pretending, oh, man, you deserve it. Then why you ain't got it? Because everybody that truly deserves what it is that they want, they get it. If I feel like I deserve this thing that I can go and buy, I'm going to get it. If I feel like I deserve what this woman is offering and her femininity, I got it. I don't have nothing that I don't deserve, good or bad. Everything that, I, everything that I'm supposed to get, I'm going to get it. The lesson, I'm going to get it. The success, I'm going to get it. The growth, I'm going to get it. The girl, I'm going to get it. The marketing, I'm going to get it. The loyalty, I'm going to get it. Heaven, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get every single thing that I deserve. I don't care what the hand is that I'm dealt. I'm going to make the most of it. Now, what I'm trying to understand is when you going to show up? When you going to show up? You just going to keep playing games? You going to keep playing house? You going to keep acting like you're doing what you're supposed to do, but you're not really doing it? I don't believe you. I never believed you. She don't believe you. I mean, he certainly don't believe her. Because you're going into it with the wrong intentions. You're going into it with the wrong mindset. Women in a lot of instances are going into relationships looking to see what they can get out of the person that they're in a relationship with. I've never seen nobody be successful operating like that. The only way you get the most out of something is if you go into it with the intention of adding value to it. I go and I participate at work and I add value into corporate America, understanding that my compensation is tied to my performance. My bonuses, my equity that I get into the company is tied to how well I do for the company. That's why executives make so much. That's why CEOs make so much. That's why people that get recruited into the company and then negotiate their wages a little bit differently, that's not just a part of the union, they don't have to advocate for it. They negotiate it because people already see the value and they petition for them to become a part of the organization. Why we don't look at it and why we don't take that same approach when it comes to relationships.